Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, so in our last video, we actually uh, drive reflection coefficient, definition of reflection coefficient. And as we know, the definition of reflection coefficient is given as RL minus R0 divided by ZL. Sorry, ZL plus Z0. ZL minus Z0 divided by ZL plus Z0. That is known as your voltage reflection coefficient. Okay. So let's look at three special scenarios and all the scenarios that we would see would lie between this so let's let's cons uh, so think of it like as a number line so we're going to look at three special scenarios mashed open and short and all the scenarios will be based would lie in a form of a number line so what i mean to say is this we're going to draw a number line like this and we're going to plot these scenarios and all the scenarios beside these scenarios would lie in that uh, range so basically by looking at three different scenarios we're looking sort of looking at a range of my reflection coefficient so as we know if my load is properly matched so let's say for an example if my z naught is 50 and if my load is 50 what would be my reflection coefficient so reflection coefficient based on this definition is going to be zl minus z naught divided by zl plus z naught which is 50 minus 50 divided by 50 plus 50. 50 minus 50 is going to be 0. 50 plus 50 is 100. Anything divided by 100 would get, anything divided by 0 would give me 0. This is the reflection coefficient for a match circuit. For an open circuit, we know something. My Z0 is still 50. Z0 and Zs were assuming to be exactly the same thing. Zs is equal to Z0. That's what we're assuming. And my line is lossless. So uh, what, what is the impedance of an open circuit? The impedance of an open circuit is infinity. Isn't it? There's, there's the impedance of your open circuit is infinity. So we're going to use this definition, reflection coefficient. ZL minus Z0 divided by ZL plus Z0. So this is in, uh, 50 infinity minus 50 divided by infinity plus 50. 50, infinity minus 50 is infinity. Infinity plus 50 is infinity. This is going to be 1. All right? Infinity divided by infinity is going to be 1. Z0 is still my 50 ohms. 50 ohms. 50 ohms, 50 ohms. Uh, then what is the impedance of a short circuit? I kind of like to take the least resistive path, and the impedance of a short circuit is 0 ohms. So let's just simply plug in our values, ZL minus Z0 divided by ZL plus Z0. ZL is, your, uh, is 0 because ZL we're looking at it in terms of short circuit. So this is for short circuit, this is for open circuit. So the impedance of your short circuit is 0, 0 minus 50, 0 plus 50. What is this? So minus 50 over 50 this is just going to be negative 1. So, the reflection coefficient for your short circuit is going to be negative 1. So, let's draw a number line. Let's look at our number line. I like drawing it in terms of a number line. We know mass scenario is 0. So, this is your matched. Negative 1 which is your short and positive one is your open so we have two different extreme and this is what we want we have one extreme when i can have an impedance is equals to infinity which i'm calling it an open circuit and i have a short circuit where my impedance is going to be zero which is my short circuit impedance being zero is mean my short circuit so negative one if I have a short circuit, then it's going to be negative 1. Entire thing is reflecting back into my system. In open circuit, entire thing is also reflecting back into my system. But in short circuit, when there is a negative sign, it's actually returning it into an opposite direction. So what that negative means, there is a 180 degree phase shift. Here, in open circuit, exactly the same thing is returning back into my system with same phase. And this is what we actually want. We want this. So when we're designing our equipment,
So, so when I'm designing my circuits or when I'm designing my equipment, I wanted to make sure that I get close to the match as possible. I want this reflection coefficient to be zero. We will never get zero, but we want to get close to zero. Any other scenario where you can have low, lower impedance as compared to your uh, 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 your Z naught is going to lie in this, and anything less than infinity will lie somewhere around this. So these are this is the number line that you have to keep in mind when you are actually looking at reflection coefficients. Then you have an open circuit that has an impedance uh, that has has a reflection coefficient of one, with the same phase is returning back. Having short circuit, it's mean it's returning back, but in an opposite direction that you will not see anything into my system, in, in my circuit, because everything is being, uh, it's due to 180 degree out of phase, it will cancel out whatever the incident wave, voltage wave is, and whatever the reflected wave is. So I hope you like this small tutorial or example of reflection coefficient. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.